nothing up on. All on sale. Today on. Completely mad.
There we go. Guess his next move is one of these. Huh. Smells like fish soup. Huh. Smells a few days old. There's enough food in here to weather a siege. Huh. Smells like fish soup. There we go. Guess his next move is one of these. There we go. Guess his next move is one of these. Somebody likes to lecture. Slit. Clean. To the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order, and to take back Professor Doe! Time to figure this out. <clears throat> Finish off the interlopers! They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs! Here! Into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead. Well, I... it is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Blackwood's going after Harriet Doe. Took a small army with him. Just need to figure out where he went.
crumpled, but clean. Someone's been here recently. What's your problem?
I've seen Swiss cheese with fewer holes. I know you, don't I? Uh, Mr. Reed, from the fish market, had business with that harlot Anna. <laughs> Why on earth are you here? Mr. Blackwood, guess I finally caught up to you. You are a follower of my work? Now, oh, sorry, Evernote. My heart belongs to another. Fred from the fish market said you could tell me where the professor is. I see. <laughs> he didn't mention that I was about to wage war on the EOD then. Harriet Doe, I know you were looking for her. Where is she? Why do you... You need to find her. She has a purpose. A purpose that must be fulfilled. A purpose that you have no part in. <laughs> I have questions that I need her to answer. Questions? You're like a dog digging for a bone. You have no... No concept of the greater picture. The professor is the one. She is too important to be bothered by your questions. She is all that remains of the few. Listen to me. Harriet must live. We are on the cusp of a great tragedy, and only she can avert it. She is one of the chosen, gifted with visions by divine providence. It is her fate to either save us or doom us all. I don't follow. You talk about tragedy and doom. What tragedy? What doom? From beneath the city. Oh, but I forget. You would know. The frescoes here... Show the truth. I lost days studying them long ago. I once served the sea myself, Mr. Reed, but I cannot do so any longer. They have to be stopped. Harriet is the key. Okay. Why don't you save us both a lot of time and trouble, and give me the short, snappy version? There is a cosmic cycle. At the end of each turn... I'm sorry. My time is too short. Please, find Harriet. You must make sure she lives. 
that case, I suppose I better get a move on. Good luck, Mr. Heat. You must not fail. <laughs> the Deep is calling me. <laughs> seasons. Some kind of cycle. Professor Doe, are you all right? All right? Uh, I, I am. Why not? Sorry, who are you? I'm Charles Reed, private detective. I've come here for some answers. Here, you'll find many answers. Everything is an answer here. And everything is in my hands now. Do you understand? There is a cycle. This has all happened before. She wants to be free, but she must not be, or else it all ends. What is this about a cycle? It always begins with a great flood. Then the threat rises with the sea. The sea is all that divides our world from the one below. When the sea rises, the gates, the gates neither open nor closed, only waiting. What? Gates? Katiganar! The gates are not closed, the gates are not open. But they shall be one or the other by the cycle's end. What are you talking about? But the seal may close the gates. And close them forevermore. Professor Doe, you're not making sense. We need to get out of here. Now. I can't leave with you. I need to be alone. Alone! You don't understand. I play a part in it all, but only the chosen few may do that. Those led by the visions. I have had them for so long. What do you see in your visions? Horrors. Uh, nightmares. Alive. I see. Reality. Torn. Rotten. The things below, and water. So much water. Water is death. I... I have visions too. That's what brought me to Oakmont. And I guess what brings me to you now. Oh, but that has... that has to be... that has to be different. It, it has to be. I've been through so much. It has to be different. Uh, 
I don't understand. Th there can only be one of us. I need a moment to think it over. Okay. I will stay here with my seal. Yes. We need to get out of here. Uh, but my work isn't finished. My mission. Good luck finishing it if you're dead. We need to get out of here, Harriet. We just need to get to the surface. Fine. Fine. We go above ground. But we need to take the seal with us. Seal is the key to everything. What are you doing here, Johannes? You have quite a knack for asking the wrong questions, Mr. Reed. I'm here because I heard you were admitted. You don't seem the frail sword, so my interest was piqued. Last I remember, I was underwater. Consider yourself lucky. That's not the best place to be unconscious. I'd wager you'd had a drink too many were it not for the scratches. What exactly were you doing underwater? There was this ancient temple down there. It was... it was wrong, Johannes. A horror show. It's all right, I believe you. I won't ask you to relive it just yet. Please. What happened to Harriet Doe? Where is she? Ah, she's right here at the hospital. In the morgue. They fished her out of the calm shore marina earlier today. A pity. I always thought she was a strong swimmer. But how? I... I made sure she... Made sure? 
Mr. Reed, when confronted by the true horrors of this city, you couldn't even stay conscious. And now we are here. What happened to my things? I need to find them. Mr. Reed, do you take me for a hospital employee? I... Uh, I guess not. Apologies. Although, this wouldn't happen to be about a certain seal, would it? How do you know about it? Mr. Reed, there are plenty of things you do not yet know. Luckily, I want you to succeed. Perhaps it has been misplaced. You may wish to return to where you were found. If I were you, I'd inquire with the staff as to where that was. Johannes, be straight with me. How do you know about the seal? What can I say? Acquiring information is something of a hobby of mine. Wasn't that how you and I first met? In any event, when you've recovered the seal, come find me at my theater. I will have a plan of action ready. Here's the address. Farewell. I believe I was rescued by a stranger. Do you know who it was? Ah, let's see. You're Reed, right? Huh. Well, that's funny. It was a regular of ours. A regular? Yeah, his name is Billy Dronan. Well, let's just say he enjoys a drink a bit too much. Seen a lot of him these past few months. Barrel fever, huh? Uh, I tell you, his file is just about bursting at the seams. The things he comes out with in therapy. Uh, can I have my things back, please? Oh, of course. There you go. Is this all you have? I'm missing a large, round object. I, I don't recall it. Sorry. At least you're leaving here with your life. <laughs> That's something. Bye.
found Harriet Doe, but... But? Things did not go as planned. She didn't make it. What? I pay you to find someone and you come here hat in hand bleating that she didn't make it? She was our last chance to discover what is wrong with this city. What happened to her? All I know is she tried to flee the underwater temple of the Order. I think she probably drowned. How on earth could this happen? You were meant to have it under control. I don't even know how I got out of there alive. I couldn't do anything, Mr. Throgmorton. I'm sorry. Useless. Any other bad news to report? There's something ancient below this city. Ruins of some kind. They drive people insane. Or, rather, what lies within does. <laughs> Nonsense. I expected better. I'm talking about the very ruins your people were sent to explore. Didn't end well, did it? You seem intent on ruling out rational explanations in favor of the inane. Believe me, there's nothing rational about this. That is for me to decide. Ruins. Hmm. Perhaps another expedition is in order. It will take some time to organize. As for you, I don't need your services on this case anymore, Mr. Reed. Here is your payment. Adjusted for your failure to retrieve Harriet, of course. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories, but even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. Have a good day.
just caught, man. I take it this is the place to find Billy Dronin. Is he here? No idea who would want to talk to that drunken sot, but yeah, that's him over there. Yellow scarf. What do you know about him? He's got a tab the size of Mississippi, and is just slow enough in the head that you can't even really fault him. I won't keep you. So kind of you, newcomer. Bye. Billy Drunnen, I presume. Who the jog are you? Oh, it's you. Good to see you doing better. I'm told I owe you a debt of gratitude for bringing me to the hospital. I was nothing. Good book says to help your neighbor. Wasn't gonna leave a man to bleed out, was I? And all the commotion, I seem to have lost something. It's large, round, covered in inscriptions. Any idea what may have happened to it? You think I'm the kind of guy that'd save someone with one hand and pick his pocket with the other? If you didn't take it, then who did? Hmm, tough to say. But I can do you one better. I found you on the calm shore. You were in a bad spot, so I didn't hang around to look for large, round objects. If you dropped it, maybe it's still there. I'll tell you where to go. It's close. Decent view, too. Well, I suppose it's worth ruling out the possibility. Thanks. Hold up. Is that all? Not gonna buy your savior a round? What a world. <laughs> You're right. Next one's on me. Thanks. Just as I was getting thirsty. Face is gone. Never know drew the same sigil in the Orion Club to summon monsters. Hmm. Whoever ripped the 
this apart in a hurry. At last, at last, I finally have it. Better hurry to the manor before more interlopers show up. Scratches? Oh, this must be where I surfaced. When the Chosen visit you, they never seem to come back. So we'll be taking this one. Finish him, Carl. Fools! You don't know what you're doing! Put him down! So, saving the drowned is the only way you can make friends, Blackwood? Did you really think the Yellow Kings wouldn't catch you? Time to figure this. So, saving the drowned is the only way you can... When the Chosen visit you, they never seem to come back. So we'll be taking this one. Fools! You don't know what you're doing! Put him down! Blackwood dragged me to the surface, but was ambushed by Drunnan. Both seem to think I'm among the Chosen. And now Blackwood has the seal. Raging waters will swallow the earth. Ghastly shadows will take over. Again with the signs. I wonder what he was trying to tell me. Where did Billy Drunnan go? I thought you said he was here. Ah, son of a... He was just there a moment ago, scribbling something. I guess his tab just got even bigger. Anything else? You're a local. Can you remind me where to find the Blackwoods Manor? The manor? Eh, what do you want with it? It's been empty ever since the Blackwoods left. You planning a heist? Who's to say? If there's anything they wanted, the Blackwoods had a chance to take it with them. Heh. <laughs> well, the manor's easy enough to find. Top of a cliff in Grimhaven Bay. Good luck. Many have tried. But none of yet succeeded. Where did they go? Do I look like a history teacher? All I know is sometime around the flood, the whole family just up and vanished. In fact, two families. The Blackwoods and what remained of the Marshes, too. Pretty odd. You think they had something to do with the flood? Could be. Or maybe they just saw which way the wind was blowing before the rest of us. I won't keep you. So kind of you, newcomer.
Great. More summoning. Huh. Poor bastard didn't get far.
not again! Eye. I've seen this before. Of course, the Blackwoods would have a space for rituals. I'm well equipped, too. One seems more recent. Oh, you blasted thing! Ugh, I need a stronger focus. Something touched by Contiganar. So many attempts, so few chosen left. I must keep looking. This way, Gordon. The cure for your illness awaits. Okay, let's see what we have here. This way, Gordon. The cure- Oh, you blasted thing! So many attempts, so few chosen left. I must keep looking. Ebernote conducted a ritual on someone, but the man died in the process. He buried him and set out to find something he called a stronger focus.
Wide open sea. I too was drawn to it once. Is it just me, or is she looking back?
Just when I thought I'd actually get somewhere first for once. Hello there, Mr. Reed. I didn't expect to see you here so soon. Do we know each other? Well, I must say, I'm a little hurt. The Yellow Kings know everything that goes on in this Borg. And that includes you. I've seen some of your gang's handiwork before. What's your angle? Us? Well, call us concerned citizens. And this is just the kind of situation we concern ourselves with. I believe you recently lost something important. We're here to make sure you get it back. The seal. Uh-huh. Gotta find it before you go complete cuckoo like all them chosen before you. What did you just say about the other Chosen? All the Chosen go bonkers eventually. Whatever you're doing, you better step on it. You ain't safe. And from what I hear, it's been showing. So what do you get out of this? I just do what I'm told. And my boss was very clear about this. Your boss? Who would that be? Oh, don't you worry, sir. He'll find you when all is said and done. So, do we have a problem or not? Not at all. You're here already. Do your thing. Just leave us be while we do ours. If Ebernote Blackwood shows his face, we'll put him down for good this time. Don't you worry. You go on, Mr. Reed. Snoop away. We've got your back, Mr. Reed. Don't worry. We'll stay and watch. Ah, how old is this? Someone could have cleaned this up, right? Looks like everybody left mid-meeting. I'm lucky you bastards left your research before you fled. All of the Chosen are in here.
You are here, Mr. Reed. Just when I was starting to think I'd come on too strongly. You have an odd way of making advances. You're hardly the charmer yourself. I was hoping we could talk. It's the least you could do after bringing those gentlemen along. Those gentlemen were here when I arrived. Tell me, what were they after? They have been a nuisance hounding me for some time. I don't know their leader, but whoever they are, they're determined. And so you slaughtered them. They wanted me dead. I retaliated. If I looked, Mr. Reed, would I not find your hands soiled the same way? You saved my life at the Temple of Dagon. Why? Oh, could I not? I suspected that you too were chosen. As it turns out, I was right. We walked the same path, you and I. I extended only the courtesy of a fellow traveler. Nothing more, nothing less. That's reassuring. I was told the Chosen all go insane. Is it true? All of them. No ordinary human can bear the curse, but I... I was destined to carry this burden, trained for it. It is mine alone, yet still I am denied it. So you're here on some kind of... what? Pilgrimage? This is where my family once gathered, before descending into the depths, never to see the sun again. They left me here. Punishment for being a disappointment, lacking the curse they wanted to exploit, as if that were all I was. I can't let you have the seal. No, Charles. Let's be civilized. By now you know enough to understand what this entails. I'll make you an offer. I have been groomed for this. I have waited my entire life for this. I am chosen. I am chosen. Let me free you from the burden. Kill me, you mean? Yeah, I found your cozy little cemetery in the manor's cellar. All those satisfied customers. Yes, yes. There were some early complications with the ritual, but now Kutikanar itself will guide my hand. You better start making sense, Blackwood. I can extract the Dreamer's Seed from you. I will bear this burden and carry it into the Stygian depths below the city. And you shall be free. Free to help me in this quest on an equal footing, or to flee the city with your sanity. It can't be that easy. None of it was easy. I have given everything I have, everything to be here. I know this is my fate, our fate. You can be saved, Mr. Reed. Let me help. I beg you, this is not where your journey ends. If it's the only way to keep my marbles in this forsaken city, then... Okay, let's do it. Ah, Charles, you are a wise and courageous man. Please, lie down on the altar so we may begin.
Did it crack under my weight? Sure, I could lose a few pounds, but still... Odd. Oh, damn. Poor dead bastard. Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your path ends here. Charles, no! What are you doing? Return to the altar! Charles, no! What are you doing? Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your path ends here. <sighs> Something inside me fought the ritual. It overcame me and I... I killed Evernote. I killed him with my bare hands. Just caught, mister.
guess I have to find another way in. Seeing a dead policeman must be bad luck. Really bad. Thirty-eight revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. And it appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. The blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Repeat the verse after me. Gnaia ilia ogn ogn glui hastor fathara neg ungibun ma. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you... Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Okay. Let's see what actually happened. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this... Can't you see we are... Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. This world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles, yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. Monade possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. 
and added to an even makes it odd. Pierre de Lalande, Repercussions and Reflections. Le philosophe in conu, selection of maxims and aphorisms. Your humble servant, Theurgy of Math. Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. I must confess, I'm, uh... Pleasantly surprised. That seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. You better start brown nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Ah, uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. The work of a private eye does occasionally require some lateral thinking. But it's all in service of law and order. So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Got it. The only mystery is why you haven't ended up here sooner. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail.
the news that's fit to print. Don't you have work to do? Charity work. Oh, we could be running a real racket. Hello, Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Reed, welcome. Things are busy right now, but I hope we may soon find the time to share a conversation and some wine. That's been a luxury lately. Wine or time. Regardless, I won't delay you further. I appreciate you bailing me out of jail. I was in a difficult situation. <laughs> a trifle, Charles. Though I understand you're not off the hook yet. Milton Pierce says he saw you killing Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. I believe you. From what I know of your character, even if you and Johannes had a falling out... I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Reed, I trust you. But the police don't. If you can't find the real culprit, there's little more I can do. 
That being said, the Carpenter family still has its connections in the police department. Just let my taskmaster know when you have an alibi. How are you feeling after everything that happened with Brutus? Please, I'd rather not discuss it. But my father is upstairs, should you wish to see him. I get the feeling you knew Vanderberg. He was an old friend. A man of rare mental clarity. I met him in Europe during the Great War. He and you are among the few decent men in this city. I hope that I won't need to choose one friend over the other. You served during the Great War? Yes. One of the hapless grunts at Mews are gone. I'm afraid... I still find it hard to talk about. I understand. What do you know about Milton Pierce? He's quite a prominent voice in political circles, though he's not afraid to play ugly. I saw his interview with the Oakmont Chronicle recently. Do you know where I can find him? He's somewhere in Reed Heights, but sorry, beyond that I can't be of much help. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Carpenter. I should be off. Before you leave, here's a little problem solver for you. Should you run into any further difficulties, take care, Mr. Reed. I'll set aside some wine for when it's all over.
What's your problem? This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Really. Hey, he must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Emptier than a banker's heart. Someone got changed here in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just... Ah, get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall.
This shape is familiar. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. What's your problem? the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manors know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. 
Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. I could just kill you, you know. Great idea. Kill the only witness while being investigated for murder. I'm sure the police will understand. That's reasonable. But you're assuming, after all I've seen and done in this damn place, I still listen to reason. Threatening a mayoral candidate. You truly are a newcomer. How could you propose such a thing? Against your own mother, no less. You're a heartless monster. I won't do it. Don't get emotional, Reed. Go for a walk, breathe the salty air, then picture your execution. Perhaps with some perspective, you'll reconsider. I doubt it. Whatever you say, sir. I'll just leave you this bottle and her address anyway. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you.
Agatha Pierce, I presume? Uh, the name's Charles Reed. I'm a P.I. Good day, young man. What's your business? There's a matter that I'd like to discuss. It concerns your son, Milton. Oh no! What's happened? Is he okay? I'm afraid this may take some time to explain. Perhaps you have something to, uh, wet my whistle. Oh, fear not. I keep my cellar stocked for just such occasions. Would you kindly fetch us some Chianti from the cellar? You look more than capable. Ma'am, that's a most generous offer. So why do I sense a quid pro quo? Oh, no, no. Well, I did hear something rustling around. But I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Yeah. Leave it to me. Here are the keys. Pick any bottle, as long as it's Chianti. And don't shy away from the good stuff. It's there to be shared with guests like yourself. Milton sent me here to kill you. Milton? I know it can't be. Please, Mr. Reed, you must have it wrong. Look, it's the truth. He wanted his inheritance and needed your death to look natural. Poison was his solution. No! I don't believe you! Please go away! I... I feel sick. Oh. He's mad! He's completely no. mad! No! Please, no! Don't shoot me, Mr.
much. Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed, P.I. The guy taking the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan or whatever he's called. You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. <sighs> just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Do you know who's responsible? Uh, it was a, a gang. I I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will? Maybe, uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know, I swear. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. <laughs> you never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers, I did, but they sent... They sent me... Oh, drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's say I believe you. You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So, I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. So what's your answer? Alright, I'll do it. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Thank you. You're a better man than I, Mr. Reed. I'm sorry that I put you in this position, but I will make it right. I promise. Still has a wedding ring on. What kind of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope. What am I to do now? There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. So, the home of a suffragette, huh? Old but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of. Grape silk and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing.
This door will be hard to fix. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. Don't you dare touch my mom! Open this door or I'll kick it down! I think I'm starting to get the picture. Open this door or I'll kick it down! Don't you dare touch my mom! Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. A gang broke in and kidnapped a mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor. And the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. One of Evelyn's attackers fell through a hole in the floor. Now maybe I'll find something useful if I look around. Wow. How do you know all that? <laughs> you detective types sure are clever. It would explain the broken boards. Uh, I'll get you the key, and uh... Sorry for the mess. I'll get going. That's a rare spirit. I'm lucky to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Congratulations on your wedding, from Sister Peg. Someone must have had a hard fall here. Glad I'm not him. See what he's got in here. Now that. 
That sends shivers down the spine. What am I to do now?
Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There are... powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Billy, I want no trouble for either of us. Byers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider this number two. I get attached to people I save it. Bit of a weakness. But understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. It's not gonna work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Sorry, Billy. This is bigger than both of us. May the best man win. So this is how it ends, eh? I hoped you might be different. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you.
What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Oh, thank you, mister. I... I thought they'd kill us. I... I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who... who are you? You look... I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you, too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine, but this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. Have you... have you come to save us?
that your family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going.
All the news that's fit to print. Buy it. Proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house, and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed, but it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel.
How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? He falsely testified against me and tried to blackmail me. Someone does that to me, there will be consequences. And so you took matters into your own hands. Bravo. A conscious choice with a violent end. But, who am I to judge? Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. End what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important, even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. 
He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katigana. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. escape, but something broke his neck with a single strike.
It just twitch. Whoa. It must be my nerves. Ah, poor guy died here after several stomach wounds. carried out quite the massacre in here. One ferocious blow, and he was gone. going on. I'm sure I shot her dead, but then she ran. Oh, snub, we are in trouble now. It, my name is Joseph. Sorry for getting you into this, and thanks. Uh, Charles Reed. I was actually looking for you. For me? How can I help you? What do you know about that thing? The girl that attacked us? She's... Usha, a Mayan priestess, rejected by death itself. I can only imagine what baleful sorcery still keeps her alive. Unusual, even by this mad city's standards. Why would a Mayan priestess come here? What's special about this house? It was me she was after. Usha holds a secret older than humanity itself, and she wants to stop me from uncovering it. Don't ask me about it further. I can't say any more. I need your help to get into Katiganar. This madness must be stopped. Oh, that's a noble goal, but Vanderberg... Johannes was the one who told me about you, and about all the things that have happened since the Flood. He did? Well, I underestimated you. We share the same goal, but there's a problem. What kind of problem? The Mayan girl, Usha. She was the keeper of the key to Katiganar. We'll need it. You mean the seal? I have it. Just show me the entrance. The seal? You've got it. Spectacular, uh, but alas, it, it doesn't solve our problem. You're testing my patience, Joseph. Usha was the last one to open the path below, and she still protects it. We cannot proceed until she's been dealt with. My bullets did nothing. Do you know of any other ways to fight her? There are ways to resist her sorcery. I was going to use them myself, but I'm not sure I have the skills to track this thing to her lair. But didn't she come to you? She caught me off guard, tried to kill me. I was unprepared. You arrived just in time to scare her off. I'm a private eye. Tracking Usha won't be a problem. But how do we handle her? Look. When you locate her lair, come let me know. Meanwhile, I'll prepare our defense against her magics. Then together, we'll banish her. Any leads on how to track her? I don't know. But she drinks blood to gain strength. There must be victims, corpses, but... Thanks to the wild beasts and madness, Oakmont is full of the dead. Uh, though... I did hear rumor of a vampire in Salvation Harbor. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. 
Johannes told me nothing about you. Can you fill me in before we continue? I understand. You're curious. If Johannes trusts you enough to recommend your help, you must have some unique expertise. Well, I am an archaeologist, well versed in alchemy and other less academic sciences. I have devoted my life to stopping the end of the world. Wait, what? I spent years in the jungle learning from my descendants. The illness forced my return, but I believe Shibalba's entrance is under Oakmont. Did you say Shibalba? The world of the dead. It brings disasters, epidemics, madness. The most violent Mayan guards were locked inside and need sacrifices to remain. Different locals gave it different names. Some of them can be traced, their origins identified. But Katigana, it precedes us all. Your face tattoos are rather unusual. What do they mean? The Indians gave them to me. I visited a lost pyramid in the jungle. These are marks of wisdom. Your illness, how did you get it? Is it contagious? As with many other tropical maladies, it was born by a certain species of fly. They bred in the wells of the old Mayan temple. Superstitious savages may call it a curse of the gods, but we're people of culture, aren't we? I've seen enough to not take superstition so lightly these days. You want to get into this place, under Oakmont? No, no! That place must be closed forever! All that befalls Oakmont has emerged from within its walls! Well, I agree with that. That's plenty. Thanks, Joseph. These Mayan artifacts could be the prize jewel in many a museum collection. of these plants, this photo was taken somewhere in South America. Your vote is your choice. Choose wisely.
His blood was drained, just like Joseph said. Fire and lots of fish. These guys were gonna have a good meal here. She didn't spill a single drop of blood. If anyone had caught this shotgun blast, they would have lost their head. He didn't die immediately. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. Yeah, nothing useful inside. Old clothes and garbage, but this letter may be helpful. Those hungry warm skins saw you here. Take this, damn corpse! Must give a knife. It's the land of God, dead so Near and obey, Rayoman. Suffer for your sacrilege. Order me, priestess, and I will serve. Okay, let's see what we have here. Great fisk, buddy. 
Hope none of those hungry warm. Take this! Order me, priest. Nice. Usha attacked three Innsmouthers before a man appeared and tried to shoot her. She called him Raymond and hypnotized him. Somehow. A man named Raymond lives here. How's it your business? I need to talk to him. You'd be better off talking to the wall. Raymond Archer ain't here. Left a few days ago and never came back. Didn't pay either. Damn newcomer. What about his room? Did he leave any belongings behind? A pile of weird stuff and broken junk. Take a look if you want. It's the room next to yours. I found a debt letter from you at a crime scene. Can you tell me who it was for? Huh. <laughs> I have no idea. Why? Do you send that many of them? Yes, thanks to all you damn newcomers flooding Oakmont. I have a form letter that I adapt. Well, make a newcomer adapt for me to pay his debt. Got 50 of them back here right now. Clever, eh? Indeed. Less useful than I'd hoped, though. Yeah, see you later.
Did Raymond get this air tank from the same place I did? I've seen some of these places. The backyard with corpses. Joseph Hill's house. Why did he draw all this? Stop it! Please, stop it! Why do you show me this vile violence? I can't bear it!
whatever happened in this lab, it has nothing to do with normal science. about the Tiganar, or God. She won't talk to you. Ah, only the seed may know. Uh, I don't think these tools were used for surgery. Looks like it contains ashes mixed with salt. I do not want to know its origin. Promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damhar or seals. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! <gasps> Let me in! the ceiling circles. Time to figure this out. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Let me in! You promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damhar or seals. Promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damn. 
Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Let me in! Joseph Hill and Raymond tortured Usha to find out how to get inside Katiganar. But she got free and attacked them. Hill fled, leaving Raymond alone with her. Stop! She has something to say. Raymond? I was looking for you. We have to talk about the undead Mayan. You don't need to hurt her. She knows what you want. She can offer a deal. Last I heard, you were trying to shoot Usha, but now you're her messenger. Why the about face? She took this body as her vessel. She doesn't want to frighten you. Well, using a man as a puppet is still creepy, Usha. What deal are you talking about? You, Chosen, must descend into the depths, into the shell. She knows the way. I need to enter to stop the madness. If you tell me how to do it, I won't pursue you. Generous. She has another offer. Help her, and she will tell you how to meet your destiny. And what exactly am I supposed to do? Kill Sorcerer. Joseph. He does not let her rest. He will pursue and enslave her once again. You could have just told Joseph what he wanted. What difference would it have made? The sorcerer does not deserve these gifts. He is guided by pride and greed. She waited for the K chosen to appear, and here you are. Marked, tied up by fate. She sees it in your eyes, wide chat. Why should I kill Joseph? And why do you keep calling him a sorcerer? He woke her up, plundered her body, forced her to breathe once more, cut her, pierced her, burned her, kept her in chains. You want revenge. She wants freedom. No freedom while the sorcerer lives. What will you do after you're free? Live. If I do what you ask, where will we meet? Among the stone fingers in the Garden of the Dead. Oh, can't you just tell it straight? I've had enough riddles for a lifetime. She believes your mind is not that weak. After everything I've seen in this laboratory, I'm on your side. She will wait for you.
I need an explanation, Joseph. No? Uh, what did you want to know? I found the laboratory, Joseph. The one used to raise dead from the ashes and salt. So then you understand why I need Usha's body. She knows what we both need, the way inside Kotiganar. You revived the dead, then tortured them. That's an abomination. Do not rush to judgment, Reed. They had their time. Would you truly value one old life over the suffering of millions? They're not even human. Those specters, monstrosities, they are just the vessels of their former knowledge. You can't compare them to the living. I know you had a deal with Raymond, the man who brought you the mummy. What happened to him? Nothing he didn't deserve. This newcomer, he was only interested in treasure. It's his fault Ucha is after us now. He's her toy now, possessed and tormented. But it was you who let this happen. Me? I did not free her. And for Kay's sake, why should I risk everything to save an imbecile? My mission is of far greater importance. You tormented Usha to get the knowledge you were after. Why? She refused to tell me what I needed. I was trying to find another way, but until the spell was found, I used more mundane methods. Like pouring acid on her? It was stubborn. No longer human. I was forced to try everything. Every time I recreated her, she told me I didn't deserve the knowledge. Usha made me a proposal. She's willing to help me get inside Katiganor. What? Surely not. It must be a trap. You didn't even ask me what she wanted in return. I fear I know already. She wants me dead. Dane, she's using you, Reed. She knows I'm the only one who can stop her. I have already prepared the Ungwent to prevent her resurrection. Please, can't we just finish this as planned? Now calm down, Joseph. I'm not fool enough to believe a blood-sucking monster. Just thought you ought to know. Okay. Oh, you scared me for a moment. But if we're finished here, you should probably continue your search. I know where Usha is. It's the same crypt that Raymond was diving in. So... She returned to the tomb. Fine, we'll strike now. Prepare your guns. What's the plan? I've formulated an elixir that should damage her unnatural body. Coat your bullets in it, and go and slay the monstrosity. Just don't forget to collect her ashes afterwards. I'll prepare everything we need and wait nearby. Soon we'll both have our answers. You did well. She is pleased. Enter her home and she will tell you the secret of the depths. Where will I find you? Didn't she tell you? About the stone fingers in the garden where the dead men live on? She thought you'd understand. Ah, oh, can't you be more specific? A garden for the dead? It... Is that a cemetery or crypt? See? You did have it. Seems like a lot of running around when we're already talking. The vessel through which he talks would hear what he does not deserve. 
She would prefer not to kill him. Okay then, I'm on my way. Visitor in this sunken tomb. That's one of the lucky ones. This masterfully carved head seems like a real treasure. of seaweed on it.
Joseph is dead. I fulfilled my part of the deal. Now it's your turn. What smart man? Ask and she will answer. Stop the cycle like the cab before you. Like the ancestors. What lies beneath this city? Tell me about the ruins. A temple. A prison. A cradle of old gay. A dark pit speaking with many voices. She never knew. Only a name. Ktikonar. How do you know this? She asked the dead. The dead who came before. And they asked their dead like you ask her now. This is the cycle. Tell me how I can enter the temple. You must find the sacred seal. The key to the monoliths. You and it know each other. It will obey. You mean this one? Yes, yes, fate is kind. Now listen well. You have seen the great stone in the city center? This is the gate to Shivalba. How do I open the gate in the monolith? You must search for a hollow, craving to accept the seal. And that's it? No. The seal is incomplete. You must gather three gay fingers growing on the three monoliths, and unite them with the seal. So I've got to find pieces of three monoliths. Can you at least tell me where they are? She doesn't know. But every cycle, the fire servants gather near these special places. Find them. They will have the answer. How can I stop the madness that seeps from below? What waits for me down there? You will find out when it is time. Her marked man descended, and the Katiganar slept. Follow his path. Do. Is he dead? And did he return? No. You say there were others before me. Who were they? Marked men and women and things that went before. This place is old, but it still stands. Why do you call me marked? You bear the touch of old K. You see more, feel more, and are even more inside. I just need to find the fire worshippers, then gather the three K fingers to complete the seal. I suppose it could be worse. She wishes you the wisdom to choose what must be chosen. But leave now. She must rest. Looks like you might need some help finding peace. Allow me to oblige. Her new life is terrible, but death is worse. As you will now discover, Dane.
Knock it off! The kind of stuff that dreams are made of. Get beyond the moon. I'm watching you.
The lid's not closed tightly, and there's still some gas in the can. It seems like it was opened recently. Those who are pure shall rest by his feet, and their souls will rejoice, and they will sing forever among the angels. You scared me. Who are you? Are you late for the cleansing too? Yeah, my name's Charles Reed. And you are? Meryl. But just call me sister. We're all family after all, right? What happened here? The cleansing. This cycle has come to its end, and the next is about to begin. So we must purify ourselves in the fire. Wait, you mean they did it to themselves? With joy, brother. Joy. We have waited long for this moment, but soon the cycle will begin anew, and we will be reborn in the new world, cleansed. You can leave all this behind, brother. A fresh start. Join us. But... Uh, how do you know? What if it's just suicide? If the cycle doesn't restart, then we are truly blessed. For we'll avoid the great calamity. Angel showed us those horrors in our dreams. If we are not reborn in the new cycle, then the seed has succeeded, and the daughter is free, and that is no world worth living in. Have you seen a place on this monolith with a piece of stone growing from it? I couldn't see anything on the outside. Oh, I know what you speak of. It's at the bottom of the basement. You're a fire worshipper, yeah? Do you know which of the monoliths opens the way beneath the city? Why do you ask? It's where I need to go. I am the seed. <gasps> it's you! Kay Blass! Father Nicholas knew you'd come to us. We were watching our dreams for you. What are you talking about? Angels would whisper to us in our sleep. We had to listen to them, remember them, write down their messages, all so you could find what you seek. Okay. Does that mean you know which monoliths are needed to open the way? Me? No. No, I dreamed just a fraction of what was needed. But Father Nicholas put it all together. His notes are hidden downstairs, so that only you may find them. Take the key to the lower rooms. I think Father Nicholas left it on the altar. Are you planning to... immolate yourself? It is the cleansing, yes. That seems like an awful way to die. Please, are you sure? I... I am not scared of pain. Purity will be my passage to the new cycle. You might want to think about it. You'll scream and scream in pain as the fire burns your flesh. It would be a slow and awful way to die. I... well... yes. Oh, maybe I should reconsider.
lucid dreaming, dream wandering. Someone's been studying hard. This must be part of the seal. Sleeping draft. A strong one. May your path be clear, brother. Lucid dreaming, dream wandering. Someone's been studying hard. Looks like this was left for me. Thank <sighs> you. 
give me my weak will, brothers and sisters. I could not follow you. Oh, forgive me my weak will, brothers and sisters.
still wet. Someone undressed in a hurry. No sign of a seal fragment on this side of the monolith. This isn't gonna be easy. lives were lost in these waters. Barricaded from the inside. you are. Uh, you a local? Can I ask you about this shore? Live here for 30 years. I'm gonna die here. So, what do you want? I need to get to the base of that rock off the beach. Where's the best place to dive? So you're going to hell like everyone else. Figures. What do you mean? The crew, the Archie. My family? All of them drowned. Something in the mail. It calls to them. It hypnotizes them. So you still want to go? As if I've got any choice. Then may I ask you for a favor? Would you put these crosses on my relatives down there? I don't know how else to help their poor souls. If you agree, I'll show you where I used to dive. Before the snow. But won't it be difficult to identify your relatives? It's only been two days. Their bodies will not have spoiled. Uh, but there's the fish. The fish can board the rock, like anything alive. I'll help you. Now, give me the crosses and show me where to dive. Kay, bless you, mister. 
I have a dive spot on the first floor. Here's a key. I didn't get your name. What do they call you? Jimmy Price. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Just wanted to know your name. Oh, okay. Bye. I found your family, Jimmy. Rest assured, I did what you asked. Thank you. Hopefully it will ease their troubled souls. I I'm sorry I asked you to risk your life on my behalf. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Bye.
Looks like a piece of the monolith. Shipping off such a huge piece would require a lot of effort. You couldn't do this alone. The same pattern is on the monolith. The chip looks fresh. Master took a good bite out of this poor man. His own mother wouldn't recognize him now. Even this monstrosity couldn't survive being riddled with harpoons. Harder! We must have this piece of the stone. It's blessed. Smell us! Protect the stone! Time to figure this out. The wild beasts smell us! Protect the stone! Hurry! I think I heard something. Harder! We must have this piece of the stone. It's blessed. Harder! We must have this piece of the stone. It's blessed. Hurry! I think I heard something. The wild beasts smell us! Protect the stone! A group of fanatics chipped off a piece of the monolith and got away with it. Apparently, it was the one with the niche I need.
killed with one blow. I wouldn't want to be him. Definitely handmade. Looks like a piece of the monolith. All soaked in blood. I hope it's still readable. smash the part I need. This statue is incredibly detailed. It's practically lifelike. Damn. Did they actually try to chew that? close. We'll start immediately. We are honored to be the first to ascend. May this case gift free us from our bodily weaknesses and sins. Others await the ascension. I'll lock you up so no one can interrupt. Let me take the key. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Put it here. At last our ascent, we are honored to be the first to ascend. May others await the ascension. I'll lock you up so no one can interrupt. Let me take the key. The piece of the monolith was brought here, partly eaten, and the leftovers were taken upstairs. The door was locked and the key hidden among the books.
This must be part of the seal. Don't touch it. The stone is ours!
It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. I want... none of this to be real. To wake up in my bed in Boston, eat real food, drink good coffee, and forget it all. Let me be frank. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T, or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal in here, newcomer. Die. I can't. I... I just can't. No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this.
There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Please hurry, Reed. We can still save this city. You can't end the suffering. The cycle will go on. You can't change. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> We're doomed to rot in this ball. There is a cycle. This has all happened before. She wants to be free, but she must not be, or else it all ends. Destiny waits for no man, Charles. Decide now whether this ends in salvation or blood. Sacrifice myself like every seed before me. What is one life worth against all of humankind? is enough. I'm leaving this damned city and its madness behind. I will not choose. Enough is enough. I'm leaving this damned city and its madness behind.
I choose annihilation. The end of all cycles. Let everything die. I accept my fate. Unlike the cowards who came before me. My hidden daughter. I am coming. I choose annihilation. I accept my fate. Unlike the cowards who came before me. My hidden daughter. I am coming. Sacrifice myself like every seed before me. What is one life worth against all of humankind? Let the cycle restart. I have made my choice. Let the cycle restart. <laughs> <laughs> 